Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out Gavin Harrison. Very cool drummer. Here we go, Mr. Gavin. Beautiful, Paul. Thank you. All right, South. Okay, now, now, whether you know it or not, we're well into a drum solo week two uh, here on the, the Late Show. Been a fantastic experience, and it's fun. It's just fun, and I, yep. I, I don't care what you people at home are doing. Well, a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's just fun because we've had uh, the creme de la creme, as they say in the creme business. And uh, we, we started with uh, Anton and uh, run the everybody, anybody who's anybody on any drums. Any drummer who is yeah. any drummer. And look at this right there. That's fantastic. And uh, it's going to be great. He is a talented musician, best known as the drummer for the band Porcupine Tree. And his current uh, CD, I have a copy of it right here, entitled Circles. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Gavin Harrison. Gavin. Yes. All right, there's so much stuff going on already. <laughs> this guy has got so much under the hood, it's incredible. Very cool modulations right out of the gate. Very cool patterns that he's doing here. Start out with a lot of double strokes. So some nines, some elevens thrown in there, some cool accents, and then moving things up and down the drums, and then had that cool cool little modulations over the top. Cool little foot pattern they got going. It sounded almost like it was in like a like a like a four against three polyrhythm. We'll check out some more. Blowing into the floor tom. Ventilation port. Little Alan White trick many years ago. Dropped a little beat. Kind of some of that great bits of that stuff. A lot of double bass stuff. Okay. Four spread out. And six nil triplets. Very cool stuff. He just has this facility to fluidly modulate and bend stuff. You got to check out his book, Rhythmic Illusions. Very, very happening. Hertas with the little bells. They all have the click. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so a lot of really cool stuff. You could hear me keeping the time while he solos. So doing a lot of So this is like that four up, two down. Two singles, double, actually it's a six. One, two, singles, one, two, double, double, double bass. So 
into fast and just flurries with all the fast rapid double strokes on the snare orchestrating between the cymbals and they had this cool thing at the end I was really just making sure I was keeping the time because I'm used to the way this guy floats having gone through his material years ago uh, Rhythmic Illusions book twice because that stuff is so far out I really needed to make sure I had it um, and then of course he's had a second follow-up book called Rhythmic Perspectives where he called it multi-dimensional drumming I call it layered groove patterns some stuff where you can put together different time signatures and these cool little layered groove patterns so this guy is the expert at that I'm really the author of it to be honest with you so obviously he can do all kinds of crazy stuff everybody's got that metronome going and so he's got the whole click track going the whole time big open sections and that's when he knows the band is cued vada do boop boop ba doot bop so that's how come everybody can stay together mr metronome Left foot eight notes on the hi hat. Nice left foot work. Oh, double bass. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I would be happy to have a good performance like that. Mr. Gavin Harrison, look at that beautiful kit. This guy is just so beyond belief with some of the stuff he's able to do timing-wise. So definitely, if you really want to get into this whole thing about metric modulation, especially beat displacement, this is the go-to guy. Again, the book's Rhythmic Illusions. And man, there's some crazy stuff. You learn how to displace eighth notes, of course, then 16th notes and triplets. So he goes into all the displacements, shifting the downbeat to the first note, second, third note of the triplet, first, second, third, and fourth note of the 16th notes, and really cool kind of layered stuff. Beautiful technique, gets an excellent sound, very top of the game drummer in today's world. And I don't think a lot of us would be doing some of the cool hip displacements and modulations without this guy. Honestly, I mean, he's really got this down and he has an interesting backstory if you want to read about it in his book How he got into it in a couple of DVDs and of course he's put out more educational material And he's definitely a household name in the drumming community. So that's the fantabulous Gavin Harrison, so hope you liked it If you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and all that good stuff Let me know if you have any private instruction the information is in the text box below definitely can lead you in the direction to understanding how to do this really fantastic drumming and that whole idea of playing with the click and the displacement and keeping time very important to develop that skill in today's music whether you play you know contemporary stuff or even big band recordings because I've done big band recordings or right before we're about to go he goes oh by the way we're gonna do everything with the click which I was quite fine with to be honest with you a lot of people struggled but I'd spent so many hours with it it was quite nice to know that the click would be the commander and that the drummer wouldn't get blamed <laughs> anyway so hope you liked it stick around for the next one I'll be sending out some more reaction and analysis videos coming up in the near future and until then have a great day talk to you then bye-bye